Right, we're back, we're live, it's one o'clock rock here on Life in the Law. I'm Jay Fidel and this is Michelle Chen. Hi Michelle. Hi. <laughs> Glad to uh, be here and thank you for having me for having me. Michelle is from Suzhou in yeah. China. Yeah. And she's um, west of uh, west of uh, Shanghai yeah. and she's an attorney with a firm and uh, I'm going to tell you the name of the firm is He Partners. I did that right? Yeah. He Partners. <laughs> this correct. is a firm with about 70 lawyers, mm -hmm. and she's a partner and an attorney there practicing in what? Real estate and construction. Yeah, construction law. And, and why are you here in Honolulu? Yeah, actually, there's a, 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 a great program between uh, Suzhou Bar Association and the uh, Hawaii Bar Association and to we uh, the program is about to sending lawyers here to explore the uh, way l US lawyers practice um, uh, legal practice here and uh, um, actually I apply for the program and I got selected and then I come here oh, <laughs> for great. three months yeah. so yeah it's three months uh, long and you get to meet a law firm in this case it'd be Kate Shetty Fleming and Wright yeah one block away yeah and you get embedded there and you actually practice law well I shouldn't say practice that's that's not permitted but you do research yeah and memos and you yes. meet the partners and maybe the clients too and yeah and you get a chance to see what happens in an American law firm that's really exciting yeah, that is correct. It's uh, actually it's um, the you 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 heard of uh, you know how people practice here, but once you actually get involved and they really, you you really get into it, it feels so different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a big comparison, you know, uh, for me. I mean, I'm always comparing the U.S. and China, mm -hmm. and you know, frankly, the compa they, they get more and more the same. <laughs> As we go forward, you know. Yeah, it looks deep, deep, deep inside. It actually is the same, <laughs> but you know, it's a, it's a kind of it's a still have difference. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. So, so um, okay. So in the U.S. and certainly in Hawaii, we care a lot about real estate. Mm -hmm. We care a lot about you know real estate construction and development. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're we've been building this country for a mm -hmm. long time. Um, and China now is in a phase where it is building at, at a rapid rate everywhere, everything, mm -hmm. infrastructure and residences and office and building and government mm -hmm. and the whole thing. Yeah. And you're in the middle of that, huh? Yeah. Exciting. What's it like? Uh, it is, uh, you know, the, the last, for the last 20 or 30 years, actually the real estate market has become the most, uh, uh, that industry, that business is most uh, profitable business in China, I can tell. Really? It's, um, uh, for example, the, the house price compared to 20 years ago, like 30 years ago, is 10 times, more than 10 times compared to well, that's, the that's time. much greater than the, than the increase here in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah it's, it's more than 10 times, yeah. I think. Um, and, uh, you know... Um, you worried about a bubble? You worried that, the, you know, it might hit a bubble and Yeah, break? but I... I I look through this. Yeah, of course, everybody will worry the bubble, and it's already oh, the the whole um, uh, the market is always like that. So everybody think it must going down. But I sometimes I analysis the reason how the market is good. I think uh, there is some reason to support the unbelievable, uh, unbelievable high price in mm. China. You know, first of all, we why this uh, real estate market starts. Um, Develop. I think the first reason is the change of the housing system because I don't know how many people know about this because uh, 30 years ago, China housing system is a distribution, a free distribution. It's like um, uh, everybody go to find a job, find a job in the company. Most, uh, all the company are state owned. So the house are built by every company not a real uh, estate developed companies, ordinary company. They all have a certain department to buy buildings or, you know, build the house for their employees. If you find a job there, you, they, will, oh, they will give you house to live for, for some. But, but you know, you know, do you buy it or do you rent it or they just give rent, it to you? Uh, rent it, but in very low price, ah. very, very low price. So uh, in that time, like if you find a job, it would, the, the, the company will take care of everything of your life. 
it will provide food, it has canteen, and uh, it will give you house to live in very low prices. Um, you, you, you don't feel it, and they give you salary and take care of your children. You know, I, uh, my parents are doctors, and they work in the same hospital. I don't remember we ever cook before I was 15 because we all eat in the canteen. <laughs> and they, they can eat, they, they go to work all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they, they work really hard. And I stay at home. By the time I have meal, I have, go to the canteen and eat outside. And uh, we live in the house uh, the, the hospital give us. And uh, uh, you know, the, uh, so people at that time may be as rich as now, but I think they much happier than now because they feel secure. Once they get a job, they, uh, the company... It's for life. Yeah, yeah, it's for life. P people take care of everything of your yeah. life. Gee, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's a system. So it's changed? Then uh, I think it uh, starts from 90, 90s. Uh, it started as 80s, but uh, late, late 80s, but it's really started at 90s. Uh, the central government stopped this system. They um, encouraged for real estate company to start build a uh, house for sale. And the, uh, the, the ordinary companies, they start to give money to the employees to buy house, but instead to, you know, distribute um, mm. uh, accommodation. But you had to go yeah. get your own house. You, you get, uh, but uh, that price is unbelievable low yeah. compared to now. Compared to now. Yeah. And uh, I think that is um, the, 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 the change is the start of the real estate market ah, developed. Because more people were out there in the market yeah. and spending. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they, they come to a real uh, real estate company is, has become uh, come up. And uh, also, in the meantime, the land supply, supply system is changed, and uh, you know the the real estate production is changed. So that is uh, a start. I think the second reason for uh, the real uh, estate m market is um, uh, urbanization. Uh, Compared to 30 years ago, 30 years ago, the urbanization rate in China is 80. Uh, 18 percent, less than 18 percent, but now it's uh, 52 percent. So oh. the huge um, increase uh, of uh, city population, of course, it's uh, caused uh, a huge demand of the housing, right? And also after, I think the another reason is after the families get more income, uh, and. Uh, they will want to get better house and yeah. to improve their living yeah. environment. Yeah. That will bring the um, bring the uh, dem uh, demand of uh, the better quality and high price house. And uh, also, the most important uh, reason now for keep the, the market going is I think this is the most uh, practical um, market in China, because uh, everybody. Uh, goes to that market to buy a house, there are always a story to share. We always say that if uh, 20 years ago, if two, they have two families, they both have, uh, for example, for, for 500,000 to, to invest, RMB to invest. What's that worth in America? RMB, 500,000? RMB, it's, um, I think, uh, uh, 8,000. Eight, 80,000? 80, okay. Yeah. All right. Just want to get a handle yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. And uh, at that time, um, if one family buy house and the part uh, use the cash and part buy loan f from the bank, for example, it can buy 10 house. And another family invests the small business. If come to now, the first, uh, the first family is already owned like uh, more than 20 million assets right now. But the second family could bankrupt it already. You know, it, that is the... Uh, Lesson's uh, clear. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the market is actually produced many legend stories and also it creates a significant uh, wealth gap between families, make ah. different uh, and decisions. That, and that takes me to a comparison with that market that you've been describing uh -huh. and our new president, our president-elect. <laughs>
No, he's a magnate, right? And he's made his money in real estate. Yeah. And he buys low and sells yeah. high. Yeah. And does all these convoluted deals. Doesn't pay any taxes. <laughs> could could Donald Trump exist? Does he exist in China? Are there people like that? They're quite Chinese, I think. <laughs> it's a it's a typical way for you know real estate uh, uh, businessmen to make money. Actually, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's quite familiar. You have clients like that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> what do they What do they think of Donald Trump in China? I mean, what do you think of Donald Trump? And what are your friends that you chat with? What do they think? Actually, it's it's um, I I think I, I come uh, right time the, uh, at the right time because I arrived at seventh uh, of uh, October, so yeah. I actually uh, been uh, watch TV oh, every night. What an exciting time! Yeah, exciting time. <laughs> you know, you have news every day. It's yeah. I never seen an election. You know, not anywhere. <laughs> yeah, like this before, and yeah. uh, I, it's 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 so. Uh, uh, interesting, interesting to me. In China, they don't have election campaigns that last for a year and a half or two years, eh? No, no, we don't have it. But you know, it's it's uh, surprised me actually because, but still, till the end, I still think Hillary will win. Yeah. Can I say it? Yeah. But uh, but uh, you know, it uh, surprised me. It uh, it surprised me that uh, how it's really a already divided this much, like. Uh, Somebody is, uh, I think they're ashamed to say that they support Trump, but they actually did. <laughs> yeah. I have the same reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so surprised to me, actually, it's, uh, it's Trump winning. So let me ask you, you know, the question everybody is asking, mm -hmm. well, there's many questions, but is, you know, what happened in that, in that election? We thought, mm -hmm. we, most of us thought that Hillary Clinton was going to win. Mm. And then you look at the country, and you're an observer. You're, you know, you're here as a student mm. of, you know, the yeah, American yeah, yeah, experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what do you put in your mind? What is in your mind about why we had the change up that way? Uh, you know, I actually not my only myself. I actually discussed this with um, with uh, some of my friend as well. And Chinese friend. Chinese friend. Yeah. Yes, um, and we. Uh, talk about this, why it, uh, one of the reasons that we think some secret um, tr Trump voter is hiding over there. They might be ashamed to say it, but they actually they support it. And they, I think they get tired of the current situation. They might not as satisfi satisfied as they think, you know, of the current situation. But Hillary was representing the current situation. Yeah. Uh, so they want to, they want a change. And also, I think they might uh, um, uh, be attracted to the idea of American first, you know. Right, yeah. nationalism. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I, I think that's, uh, that's the word. So um, they want to, people, maybe, uh, and also I think people are attracted to back the Trump's background on business. Yeah. Maybe they think he's successful in business. Yeah. They may be successful to support the economy yeah. of, China, yeah. of America. The second question is, um, you know, are you and your friends, you, are you confident that uh, he'll be able to handle it, uh, that he'll be able to, you know, fulfill the promises that he has been making? I, I have doubt that he might not uh, fulfill all his promise uh, he made because he say anything he want because uh, it, that is difficult but I think uh, he can uh, uh, he can he can do it because uh, you know it's not only one person's system I think I hope yeah it's <laughs> it's actually it's uh, it's two parties over there and uh, there's a group of people support and I think there's a still um, interest group uh, will get involved in the in the management. It's not only you know one uh, resident uh, uh, to one uh, president to to run the country. Yeah, it's yeah. not like that. So let me ask you one last question before we go to the break, Michelle. Yeah, yeah, that is, yeah. is this is this election? You know, both in the in the run up to it and the actual election and the surprise and the and the you know the interesting personality, if you will, of Donald Trump. Does it change your view of, of U.S. politics, of U.S. brand of democracy? Does it change your friend's view of it? Do you think differently of it now? How do you feel about what's going on here? Does it give you confidence or does it give you something else? Uh, 
Actually, it's not. Uh, uh, we do doubt the dichromacy uh, is uh, whether it's really a very uh, good idea for everything. We do doubt that, but not only uh, to U.S. Actually, we have seen this uh, this year on uh, U.K. to quit the union, uh, to you know, to quit the Europe, uh, because uh, now you feel you feel that. Surprise result happened all the time. Why? Because uh, you can't say it's crazy and you don't believe. They have their foundations mm -hmm. of group of yes. people, and uh, the world may be divided than we expected. Yeah. So. Yeah, and the world is changing so yeah. quickly. You know, <clears throat> you know, Michelle is really sophisticated about this. She is a, a <laughs> woman of the world. <laughs> She has a, no. some very good intuition and, and analysis. I'm really impressed. No, we're going to take a short you. break. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to talk about how I make my real estate deal wow. in Shanghai. You're going to tell me right here on the air. Okay. <laughs> we'll I right try. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stacy Hayashi, and you can catch me on Mondays at 11 on Think Tech Hawaii. Stacy to the rescue. See you then. Join us at Think Tech of Hawaii. Our show is Asia in Review. Our next program is on November 17. This is Johnson Choi, your host. Aloha, everybody. My name is Mark Shklov. I'd like you to join me for my program, Law Across the Sea, on thinktechhawaii.com. Aloha. Thank you for watching Think Tech. I'm Grace Chang, the new host for Global Connections. You can find me here live every Thursday at 1 p.m. where we'll be talking to people around the islands or visiting the islands who are connected in various aspects of global affairs. So please tune in and aloha and thanks for watching. Bingo, we're back. We're back with Michelle Chen. She's a Chinese lawyer from Shanghai, not from Shanghai, Suzhou. from Suzhou, which yeah. is just to the west of Shanghai, mm -hmm. with a firm called He. I did that right? Partner, yeah. He Partners. Great. And I, I can't read the rest. <laughs> but there you have her card. And she's a, a real estate and um, I guess a, a contracting and development and um, building uh, development lawyer, I guess, yeah. Yeah. And, and Suzhou is a successful city, it has been a relatively affluent city all through the years, uh, an industrial and crafts uh, a city where people attend to detail and like to build things. Mm -hmm. This changes, you know, this affects your mentality, I think. Mm -hmm. And she's lived most of her life in Suzhou. Yeah. And she's yeah. made a couple of trips outside, one to UK for a, 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 a master's in law. Yeah. And, uh, and here we have a trip to Hawaii where she's getting real interesting mm, exposure to the, I know this because I know how the program works, to the courts, you know, to the law firm, to the clients, to business here in Bishop Street, to everything, yeah. including academia, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's, but let's, let's go to Suzhou. Mm -hmm. And I'm an investor from Hawaii. I'm an mm -hmm. American investor. And I have some buddies, and we're going to put some money in. We're going to mm -hmm. put in, you know, Oh, uh, I say, how about 10 million, okay? 10 million mm -hmm. American dollars. Mm -hmm. And we want to we want to build um, a retail and an industrial, rather a retail and office complex in mm -hmm. a large block. We want to assemble some land mm -hmm. out of an old neighborhood that we that we like mm -hmm. somewhere in Suzhou. We're going to redevelop it. And we come to you. We come to her partners, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we get you uh, in, a, in a meeting, mm -hmm. and we tell you what you want, what we want, and... And your job is to tell us whether, whether we can have that or not and how to get it. <laughs> it is, um, uh, actually, we, um, the, 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 the uh, foreign investment in real estate industry is, uh, is limited because, because? Uh, uh, the price is really already very high. It's, it's limited from the start. So you're going to tell me it's hard to make money. No, it's hard to for the foreign uh, currency to, to come deal. to come because uh, we we only um, the purpose for the real estate uh, industry on the first to solve people's uh, living problems, but uh, that's government policy. The government policy, and uh, they not they don't want the foreign uh, currency to come and to make more money and to raise the price of. You know that's so rational. <laughs> That's right. Good thinking. <laughs> and they can do it, can't they? <laughs> so, so this is... You agree uh, with that, don't you? 
Um, I never doubt it. Okay. Doubt of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I never think uh, to doubt it. Uh, yeah. to, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's forbidden uh, to directly uh, investment in, in that uh, place. But of of course, you, you can. Uh, work with a Chinese company. Well, and make a joint venture now. Joint venture. And, and you can help me find one. You can find a joint venture partner. And, yeah. I, and I put money in, and he puts ex expertise and yes. connections, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, OK, now we're together. Mm -hmm. And we're the, uh, we're the joint venture. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's a, and uh, the procedure for the, for the uh, development is, first of all, you have to get the land, right? Every land now is so sold in public right now. You have to bid for the land. And, uh, or you buy it from the government. Yeah, you have buy every land is uh, uh, sold by the government. Okay. Yeah, there's no individual land. Okay. There, uh, in the real estate but market. But you get a lease of say, was it 99 years or something? Uh, it depends on the uh, on the on the use. You know, if uh, if for business purpose it's only 40 uh, years, and it on for living it's 70 years uh -huh. rent. But it's supposed to extend. Uh, that, uh, uh, automatically after it's expired, expired. but uh, we, we don't know. No, so, no land. So far, no, no, it hasn't expired uh, yeah, yet. Yeah, it hasn't <laughs> expired. Yeah. So people are concerned about it, but I think uh, there, there will be a solution. And now uh, everybody has to buy land from the government, and this has to be uh, on public. And uh, the, the uh, government will have plan to which part of the land is to sell. And you can check for this. If you are satisfied with that, and you can put on bid on um, the day they sell it. And it could raise to very high, because the good land, the good loca location, it, the price could raise very, very high. You know, when I was in Shanghai, mm -hmm. it was near Sh Shintendi. Yeah. Shintendi. Yeah, very nice place. Upscale. Yeah. yeah. There was a big lot, huge mm -hmm. big lot. And mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you can't imagine how big things are in Shanghai. If you thought they were big in Texas, uh -huh. forget about it. They're really big in China. <laughs> this was a, a huge project. There uh -huh. must have been, you know, a quarter mile across, uh, and, it was, and they're going to build one big thing. Uh -huh. And there was a woman, okay, who lived mm -hmm. in a house mm -hmm. in an old neighborhood. And they had dug out the foundation down, 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 only you know, five, ten stories down, mm -hmm. and, you know, boxed it in so for the construction, but mm -hmm. she wouldn't leave. Mm -hmm. And so you had little little pedestal of her mm -hmm. house and her lot in the middle of this huge foundation, uh -huh. and she wouldn't go, and the government couldn't get her out. Uh -huh. And it was in the newspapers for weeks. Uh -huh. They couldn't get her out. Finally, they prevailed on her. I think they paid her yeah. or threatened her or both. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they paid her. Do you remember this? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a um, uh, common situation. It happens. It happens because uh, when the government collects all the land from uh, the older, older user, they have to pay the user to leave, right? But some, some people are easygoing and they just uh, negotiate with the government and the, the government used to pay you know, quite a, uh, good money. And, but some people is uh, just uh, see this as the only chance in his life to make money and they want to double <laughs> we it. We have that here too. <laughs> <laughs> so it happened everywhere, you know. If, if the, so this, but I, I see this in a good way, you know, if uh, it shows the respect from the government. Yeah. They didn't just take the, her off to jail or anything. Yeah, they don't want they to drag her respect. out. <laughs> yeah, they have respect. And if you want to stay, if we have not reached the final agreement yet, so. You stay, right? It's amazing. <laughs> so you have humor rights, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was very impressed with that. I thought that was very progressive, actually, yeah, yeah. that they respected her and they didn't do bad things to her, yeah. and that ultimately she was satisfied, you know? Yeah. I think they talked to talk her. Actually, it's not convenient for her, right? It's uh, all cut off. But they right. don't have to. <laughs> she had to climb down the pedestal, like five <laughs> stories down. She must have used a rope ladder and then walk across the, you know, the bottom of the foundation there and then come up on the side. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. And I think they, uh, they, they finally talked talk, talk her through, I think. Okay, so I'm, I'm in a joint venture. Mm -hmm. I bring my money, mm -hmm. and it'd be okay then. Mm -hmm. My joint venture partner, uh, you know, he, he tells me how the market is mm -hmm. going, and you tell me how the market is going. Mm -hmm. I make my bid. My joint venture buys the land. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to build this big, huge, big, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and there's nobody there who's opposing us mm -hmm. or who wants to have a pedestal in the middle of the project. Mm -hmm. um, and so, 
<laughs> we're, we're now going to build, or hopefully we're going to get a permit mm -hmm. to build our retail and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, residential project. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what is it like to get a permit? Do you, do you specialize in that? Yeah. Uh, the whole procedure is like you, you buy the land. The land uh, sold to you is all clear. There's nobody staying there. Be simple. Yeah, there well, not be simple, sale. but yeah, uh, the, it's, it's the, simple type. Yeah, yeah. It's, it won't leave the difficult problem to yeah. you. Yeah. And once you get the land and you um, apply for uh, the permission, first of all, you get your drawing, the design. You design follow the uh, the, the, the 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 rules. Um, the, uh, zoning and all that. Yeah, yeah, and zone. And uh, they, they'll give you the certain um, standard. You have to build this way or you have to, you know, you, you put your drawing, apply for permission. Yeah. And they review it, they approve it, and then you can, um, uh, you can uh, uh, tell the public that you want a construction company to come in. And uh, the construct construction company will come to bid and you find the a, 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 a right one to work with you and you sign contract and the construction come in and the, they apply for the permission for construction it's like uh, you have to have a qualified constructor and uh, you have you have the drawing to be proved you have and to show you have the money to build um yeah, you have to get financing, I guess. Yeah, they do, but in that part, you you pay some deposit to pay the wages of the migrant oh, right. yeah. migrant workers. Yeah. You make sure they not be harmed. Right. Otherwise, it's, it depends on you. The government will not get into this deep. So the government will look through all the procedure. Is it time consuming? I mean, if, from the time I come in and I make my joint venture mm -hmm. and we have a glass of champagne or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. okay, till the time I get my permit and the time I'm able to build and the time mm -hmm. I finish building mm -hmm. and, and my big project, how long will it take? Uh, the construction will take very fast. You know, every construction is going fast and they, as fast as they can. The construction company want to uh, do it as long as you have China, money. things like that move very quickly. Yeah, move they? very quickly. <laughs> but the slowest part is to decide the drawing. And you have to put your mind in that. And that one it could pa have to pass the, the government's examination. So that part could l take very long. Sometimes and you would represent me on that? You would help um, me with Yeah, that. of course. The whole procedure, the lawyers work for the project is to get into the project from day one, from the, the day you prepare for the joint venture and uh, you talk to the joint venture. We, we can uh, be all the way with you. Very exciting. I, you yeah. know, talking to you, I, w I would have absolute confidence in you. <laughs> and I know I would come to you with my $10 million if I had $10 million. <laughs> and we would make thank a project together. <laughs> thank you. And you will reach a huge success and to be paid back in the, in the, in the very good market, actually. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Michelle Chen, yeah. wonderful to talk to yeah, you. Thanks.